Understanding. Be on the up and up. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're exploring a very interesting phrase. Be on the up and up. Whether you're a beginner or advanced learner, understanding these expressions can really spice up your English conversations. So, let's get into it and find out what this phrase means and how you can use it in your daily conversations. At its core, be on the up and up can mean two main things depending on the context it's used in. Firstly, it can refer to something that is increasing or improving. For example, if someone says, my English skills are on the up and up, they mean their language abilities are getting better over time. Secondly, and quite differently, it can also mean that something is honest and straightforward. When someone mentions a business is on the up and up, they're saying the business operates in a fair and transparent manner. It's important to understand the context to grasp which meaning is being conveyed. Let's look at how, be on the up and up, can be used in various sentences to better understand its application. 1. Improvement Context After practicing for months, I feel my piano skills are finally on the up and up. 2. Honesty Context I've checked their records, and everything seems to be on the up and up with that company. Notice how the context of the conversation can change the meaning of the phrase. This versatility makes it a valuable addition to your English vocabulary. To effectively use, be on the up and up, in your conversations, keep these tips in mind. Context is key. Always consider the conversation's context to decide which meaning of the phrase to apply. Pair with relevant subjects. Use the phrase when discussing progress, improvement, or the integrity of a person or business. Practice makes perfect. Try using the phrase in different sentences or scenarios to become more comfortable with its nuances. That wraps up our exploration of the phrase, be on the up and up. Remember, the beauty of the English language lies in its diversity of expressions and idioms, making it rich and exciting to learn. We hope this video has been informative and adds a new phrase to your English toolkit. Keep practicing, stay curious, and as always, happy learning. See you in our next video.